Yep, it's looking good. And of course, let's remind ourselves of the run that FTW have had to make after dropping into losers, I think, round two. They had to go through the likes of TSU, Electrify, just then through Eternal. They've had a monumental run in this loser's bracket, and it's not done yet. They will have to win two best of fives in order to take home this trophy right behind me, and also potentially the MVP award, whoever it might whoever, go to. Whoever it might be. Under the gun, thankfully. Bailed out just in time before it got too hairy. Still a three versus two, and still that deagle of Mihu very much in the picture. Got to make sure he doesn't paint himself into a corner here as he now approaches from main entrance. Three players about to cross on through, but Mihu might seize an opportunity to go out through this smoke and catch players oh! completely unaware! Oh! Mihu just bombing his way through the smoke for a beautiful 3k, closing out the full eco. Turns far and he's able to quickly wrap around. Will this be anticipated here by Sergis? It seems not, as the first frag is garnered. Now Nickelback just able to swing back into the site, give himself some coverage, but he knows that there's going to be more pressure coming. And speaking of pressure, Sensei knows it too. DemQ comes in for another trade frag. They see one or two players down on the B site. They assume that's the whole hit, and then get a little bit too curious for their own good. Up in Raptors now, Forrester has a lot on his plate, but he is a very hungry boy. He finds two frags about to try and make it a third onto oh. Sensei does so successfully. Bring this one back from the brink. It would be wild to think that they can, but the two Galils in play, the bomb eking its way into the site, gonna surely try and stop that plan as best they can. Wants to play back on through a second. Oh. One over the top, the flashbangs are good. Running out of ammunition, go to the Deagle. Switch to the Deagle, Mighty Max. Maybe you can find one head, maybe you can collateral them together. It's gonna be a strange old round as just tries to get back around the corner. Heads are being tapped away. Max is all that remains. One versus two, both players extremely low <laughs> on HP. Max in the one versus one, and he's no. done it! We're back again! We can't escape it! We're stuck in a time loop! Dormammu, I've come to bargain! Please just let me free! I might as well give it a go, right? Because this game has been a coin flip so far, so might as well coin flip one of the important rounds. And then Tropic are not gonna let you have it! Nickelback has finally got some value as he finds three! Can you believe it? The price is just right for the nickel to score strong. Forrester finds one more. It is nickel back to find four and 14 on the scoreboard for Entropic. They waste Ave away inside of that round. Ave now have no idea what to do financially. They've got about three and a half thousand dollars per player, which is the most awkward number possible for Ave to find themselves with. Do they buy? Do they half buy? Do they play for overtime? What do they do? I don't think even they know here and they're gonna go for the half he's being taken down in such an aggressive and violent fashion tmb absolutely taking no prisoners as sorcel now comes in to pinch out lecro he has limited chances here to make this one work but grabs the first and that's the bomb carrier no less even incendiaries off the bomb to buy himself some more time and space anticipating that the player from ramp is about to make his way into the site he readjusts his position number notes to him he's already there oh Lecro, he's dealt with it expertly. He's found the 3k transfer between the two players. It's just JL with absolutely no time to play with. He better get away because he's only on 19 HP. They desperately need that AK moving forward. And he dies after the time as well. He's only got $1,000 to play with. What a disaster for Mad Lion.